I got my hands on the world's first AI-powered outdoor exoskeleton. In other words, a mech warrior. And I'm going to use it to train. Oh, bro, this is crazy. And beat a hill climb record. I tested its AI capabilities by going upstairs, walking on sand, chasing the kids. I'm not tired. Hitting the gym. And also used it to just run to my friend's house to drop something off. So in Sydney, there's this thing called the Balmoral Burn. Once a year, they run up this super steep hill. Now I'm going to cheat using this mech warrior leg. Now, Hypershell, who made these things, claim that we can get up to 40% more power in the legs and it adds a whopping one horsepower to my legs. How many horsepowers do you have? Zero. I literally just put these things on. Like it just feels like someone's holding the back of your thighs and is like, come on. Come on, Habibi, come on, come on. That's what it feels like. When you see a big ass hill, what do you think as a human being? You're like, ah, oh, crap, it's a freaking hill, right? That's what you think. But when you got these bad boys on, you look at a hill, you're like, oh yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Look at that, so easy. Before we break any records, let's go and unbox this thing to see what comes in the box and whatnot. Do you feel like you're walking for the yeah. first time? Papa, nappy chasso! Chung to it! Finally, nappy chin To be honest, when I first used it for a long time at the park with the girls, I didn't know it was actually helping me walk until I took it off. You know when you're walking on a moving travelator for a while and then you get off, you feel super slow? That's how it felt after taking it off. Now, putting this thing on isn't as hard as it seems. You clip on the main belt up here, and then you just clip on the thighs. To put this on literally takes about 10 seconds. I'm not even kidding. Now, once you're on, you press and hold it until it fires up and that's it, it's on. And then you're a cyborg, pretty much. Now, this thing does come with two batteries in the box and each battery is going to get you 17.5 kilometers of range, which I'm never going to walk 17 kilometers in a day. But anyway, that's the range you're going to get. In order to break the record and get used to my cyborg upgrade, I decided to just wear it 24 seven doing ordinary things. Did I get used to it? Not really. This thing was definitely designed for people who hike, do sports or hill climbs and stuff like that. Now, if you look on the website, you can see all the records being set by different age groups. But because I am a cyborg, I'm going to go for the top hardest record and I'm going to smash that. I brought everything to be able to do this race. We're going to run from where that black dot is and we're going to run all the way down here. And I think this is where it ends. So it's up this hill. Whoa, you run up here. Oh my goodness, that is really <laughs> steep. Wow, look at that view, Bart. Wow. Oof. All right. Okay, cool. Thanks, my love. I'm gonna go. This event only happens once a year, and I got this exoskeleton a little too late. However, since they gave us the map of exactly where to start and end, I'm going to time it myself against the champion. Keep in mind, this is without any training. Nappy! Yep. I'm going. Okay. Okay, come on. Follow me. Guys, I'm not kidding. This thing is actually kicking me forward. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey guys, going. Come on. Come on. Whoa. This is a burn. I'm burning. I'm burning. I can't. 
I can't. If it seems like I'm dying here, it's because I was. Even though the exoskeleton was pushing my legs up the hill, my heart still had to do 70% of the work and I just couldn't do it. Peaking my heart rate at about 164 beats per minute, my body just shut down and I walked the final 100 meters. I made it. What was the time? I'm not breaking any records. I have no idea how any human being could do that in under two minutes. That's just insane. I beat the grandma. I barely beat the grandma with one horsepower strapped to my leg. This is total embarrassment. I realized you still need some cardio since the hypershell is only taking 30% of the exertion. So I got up early the next day and trained my cardio every day. I've lowered my bar to beat this grandma next week. Yo, I just finished one of my daily runs. Look at my shoes. My socks are completely drenched, but it was raining. I still did it. I am so ready to smash this grandma's record. I'm back here today, but as you can see, it is completely raining. And the issue is my drone can't be flown in the rain. It's been exactly about seven days since my last run. And if the weather clears, I'll go do the run. If not, I'm gonna to have to come back here tomorrow. This is annoying because it's about an hour's drive from my place. So, how good the weather is today. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is just incredible. Let's go. Come on. Oh, bro, I feel different. I feel different, guys. Bro, what one week of training can do. I was dying at this point. I'm still, I've still got it. No way. Is that the finish line? No. I think my heart gave out when I realized that wasn't the finish line. But I went so much further at a faster pace on the second run. After walking for about a minute, I got my second wind to finish off the race. Come on. Come on. this time how cute is this dog I thought I was gonna do better to be honest I thought I was gonna do better whoa whoa okay but I did the best I could for some stupid reason I thought if I had a cyborg extension I could use this to cheat in sport but apparently that's not the case because I lost to a grandma I mean she was like literally the fastest grandma in Sydney. I found out that the guy that got one minute and 18 seconds, he's actually an Olympian. In saying that, it did give me a solid boost. I felt much more confident the second time going around because I did some training. I put together a side by side. Let's have a look together. I'll put, I'll record the screen. Okay, so already the pace is different. Can you see, can you see here? Week two, I'm so far ahead. What's gonna happen if I train for the next year? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to train, use this and compete and see what I can get. I think if I train for a while, I might actually be able to not be champion, but get close. If I can get under two minutes, that's going to be insane. You know, there were a few more things I found out about the Hypershell via the app. 
the app is pretty awesome because it, it's got like stats of how many steps you did and how many kilometers and elevation and all that stuff. Here, I've got it set to adaptive motion recognition. So depending on what I'm doing, whether I'm riding a bike, whether I'm running, walking, going up or down the hill, it'll adjust. But the one that I wanted to test was cycling. The cool thing about these bikes is you can actually tune the level. Once I hit about level 17, I could not, like it was just impossible. My heart rate would go up, it was just insane. And then I used the Hypershell and I'm not kidding. When I turned this guy on and started doing it, I kept putting up the level until I think I hit maximum level and I was literally laughing because it felt like it turned that exercise bike into a e-bike. So if you do any sort of camping, hiking, snow activities or anything like that, this is gonna just help you to get further without using that extra energy. You know the race that I did? It's, it's a hill climb race. I don't think you understand how steep that hill was. According to the app, we peaked at about 74 meters. That's a 74 meter incline over 400 meters. That's pretty nuts. No 70 year old grandma, I don't care if she's an Olympian, that should be able to do that incline without this thing. This is just crazy. I honestly can't wait till I take this guy out to our next camping trip with my girls and stuff like that. And I will wear this so that I can go further and I'll have reserve energy to be able to run around with my fat babies. Oh. <laughs>